Now, Datsun as a brand in India needs no introduction. It's a brand that our parents and our grandparents have seen while growing up as youngsters a few decades back. Now, Datsun's second entry into the Indian car market came with Nissan just a few months back in the form of the Go hatchback. Now, frankly, the Go hasn't done very well in the segment. However, the second product, the Go Plus, looks very promising on paper. So, is this a very good budget family car? Well, to get the answer, we are in a fabulous location, the foothill of Himalayas around Rishikesh. As Bunny stated, the Go Plus is based on the Go hatchback, which also means it's identical to the hatchback in terms of design. Seen up front, there is nothing to distinguish this compact MPB from its younger sibling. You get the same large headlamps and a massive grille that dominate the front end. The front bumper looks pretty nice considering the price segment and gets matte black inserts on either side. These clever design elements end up covering the otherwise empty fog lamp areas. Move your eyes to the side and the small wheels catch your attention easily. Bigger 15-inch wheels with a wider contact area would have certainly upped the aesthetics of the Go Plus. The side profile remains similar to the Go hatchback up till C-pillar. While the wheelbase is as same as the Go hatchback, the Plus is longer by just over 200 mm. And all of this is positioned beyond the rear tires. Thankfully, the execution has been neat and the rear end of the Plus doesn't look like an aftermarket or a low-cost job. For number crunches, the Go Plus has the same width and height as the Go hatchback. It is 3,995 mm in length and comes with a good 170 mm of ground clearance. Overall, apart from the small wheels, the Go Plus is a nice looking compact budget MPV. Now the interiors of the Go Plus are completely identical to the Go hatchback and that is in fact a good thing. The connected front seats offer you good comfort and good space but again if you're driving enthusiastically, they won't be offering you too much support. On the practicality front, the front door pads offer you generous bottle holders. There is space to keep your knickknacks over here in the open glove box. There is space over here, cubby holes on the right side of the steering wheel, cubby holes below the steering wheel. The column on the gear level falls into your hands very easily. The big windows simply add to the airy feel. On the feature list on the top and T version, you get an aircon, you get power steering, you get front power windows and of course a very clever mobile docking unit. Now this unit offers you decent sound quality and of course hands-free telephone operation. So upfront I think at this price segment, the Go Plus offers you a lot. But how are things at the back? Let's find out. Now just like the front row of seats on the Go Plus, the second row is also completely identical to the Go hatchback. Now this front seat has been adjusted for a typical Indian driver who stands at approximately 5 foot 9 inches or 5 foot 10 inches. And as you can see, there is just about space between my knees and the back of the front seat. Even the headroom over here is pretty generous. So I think for a 4 lakh rupee car, the Datsun Go Plus is very spacious. However, again features are missing. You don't get power windows at the back. What you get is a window that almost completely goes down flat and the windows, the big windows completely add to the airy feel. But at the same time, I think the AC unit will have to work very hard in summers to make sure cool air from there reaches this part of the car and the last one. So talking about the last one, let's see what it has to offer. Now the last row in the Datsun Go Plus is not really a good place to be for people like me. However, it's a decent place for children but only for shorter journeys. However, if people like me still want to be here, it is possible in two easy steps. One, of course, is to flip the seat like this and second is this. And there you go, you get your own bed in a moving Datsun Go Plus. So while the Go Plus offers good space on the inside for five, we also found out that with the third row folded, we could easily fit in luggage and camping gear for two people and yet had enough space left. Now this will be a USB considering that other options at Rs. 4 lakh have a smaller boot.
As expected, the Go Plus comes with the same 1.2 litre petrol engine that powers the Go hatchback. The power and torque figures remain unchanged, which means that even in the Go Plus, there is a maximum power of 68 PS and a maximum torque of 104 Newton meter. That's in Duskly, they have retuned the engine slightly in order to compensate for extra weight of the car and passengers when driven with full load. The engine doesn't have the annoying vibrations associated with a three-pot motor and only when you push the motor hard does it become noisy. For most users, the Go Plus will reward them with a good responsive drive and excellent fuel economy. The 5-speed manual gearbox isn't the most smoothest unit in the segment but its positioning helps a lot. The gear lever falls in the hand easily. One of the biggest USP of the Go Plus is the way it drives. Suspension noise is well under control and small wheels have helped increase the suspension travel which means this thing drives over broken roads in a mature way. Now as a 4 lakh rupee car, the Go Plus actually has a lot of plus points going in its favour. A. The 1.2 litre petrol engine is very sorted. B. The car is very spacious. Of course, the last row is best for kids for shorter journeys but then again, look at the Go Plus as a spacious 5-seater in the segment and you will have no reasons to complain. C. The car is very agile, very nimble through congested traffic and feels like a much bigger sedan when driven over bad roads. However, coming from a global manufacturer, we were expecting Datsun to give us extra features on the top end T variant to differentiate the Go Plus and the Go Hatchback. At the same time, ABS and driver side A bag are missing even as options on the T model. But then again, all said and done, India is a very price conscious market and this is where the Go Plus as a 4 lakh rupee spacious 5-seater makes all the sense.